Coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Max Holloway. All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on the ball again. trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. Here we go now, round two. Charles Dubronx Oliver versus Max Hall. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that... Oh! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, we call on the fight stats here. These numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 51 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Hollis. Well played shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, he 
works hard to get up again here, but he looks hooked. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and yeah. Look at that. Huge right hand! the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight.